Years ago, when I made the very first episode of Anime War, I rushed through it as fast as possible because making a 20 minute animation is insanity. Now, I didn't think anybody would pause on the footage and take screenshots of the in-between frames, which are really only on the screen for one twelfth of a second, but it's the internet. People are gonna look at any cracks they can find in your content and roast you on it. But enough is enough. Today, I'm gonna redraw this crappy in-between Vegeta frame that I've been roasted about for far too long. And I'm gonna do so without looking at a tablet. XP Pen just sent me this new tablet, the Deco Pro, which was just released. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. XP Pen sponsored this video and they sent me this tablet for review. And I gotta say, just pulling it out of the box, this thing weighs like less than a pound. It's very sleek, very nice looking, and this is the small size. There is a medium size of this tablet as well. One of the coolest things about this tablet is you can plug it into your phone. You don't even need a computer. They give you an adapter so you can run an art program on your phone, or you could just use it on your computer as well with a simple USB plug. Ooh. Oh, that is a nice pen. Very lightweight, but uh, man, does that grip feel good? And it's a cool design too. Really like that. As for the rest of the accessories, it's pretty much just a USB power cord and the drawing glove, which fit me really well. The small size, which I'm using here, can be bought on Amazon for $89.99, and the medium size is $129.99, and you can use my code DECOPRO5 for 5% off. So to start off, what I like to do now is sketch in Clip Studio Paint. I found that sketching in Clip Studio is way better than Adobe Animate because you have such a nice variety of brushes. It's so much more sensitive. So for just raw sketching, it was actually really, really nice. I mean, you can have the thing zoomed out, you're drawing, you're looking in front of you. It's very different, obviously, than looking and drawing on the same screen, which is what I'm used to. I haven't used a tablet like this in a very long time. My very first tablet ever was a Wacom Bamboo or Intuos, and I actually hated it. I really Really like this tablet. After I did some fun sketch for Soren just to try out the tablet, now I'm gonna do a close up, which I'm much better at doing close ups than uh, crazy poses and stuff like that. Still working on uh, my, uh, my skills in that department. So I'm gonna do a close up here of Soren with a surprised face because. In Anime War episode 12, the Omni Guards are going to be fighting Archon, and Zeno is going to get involved, and he's going to fight Archon, and pretty much I'm just going to need a lot of surprised faces of all of the cast because they're watching these gods among gods battle each other. Now the surface to this tablet is like a matte finish, that's how I would describe it. It doesn't feel like glass, it doesn't feel like rough paper feels like you're drawing on some matte, matted surface, which it wasn't like a bad experience. I'm definitely not used to it. I, I love drawing on glass. There's something about the slippery surface of glass and your pen that just feels so like smooth and just good to draw. Like I can't even describe it any other way. It just feels so nice to draw digitally on a glass surface in my opinion. Okay, and now that I've finished my sketch in Clip Studio Paint, what I do is I export my sketch as a JPEG and then I drop it into Adobe Animate so that I can do the line work and the coloring. Now you can definitely do line work and coloring in Clip Studio Paint. In fact, I, I think it's probably much better if you're very familiar with the program, but I've been using Animate for like four years now and I know all the tools and tricks and shortcuts and stuff like that. So I'm just much more comfortable uh, finishing my image in Animate. That's something that I'm still working on, but I really love sketching in Clip Studio Paint. Now, as you can see, this is one of the main benefits of this new tablet is the dual hand design. So I have one hand using the ring to kind of move around the map and use my hotkeys. And then I also have my other hand just drawing. And it's kind of cool because you're just kind of like using both your hands at the same time, like it's some sort of control panel. Now this tablet is actually the small. I thought this was the large. It's pretty darn big. And basically what happens is with these non-screen tablets, it basically takes up the size of your screen, meaning that in order to reach a button at the end of your application, like off in the corner, you have to move your hand all the way down to the end of the tablet to access it. What that means is if you use a bigger tablet, like if I was using the medium size right now, when I get into the fine details, it's almost like you're lowering your mouse sensitivity sensitivity so that you can draw much more accurately. A lot of people like the larger tablets. They sent me the small. I would like to try the medium size one day, 
but if you're trying to figure out what you need, think about do you like longer strokes or do you like higher detail? I think if you're going for detail, medium is the option for you. But definitely when you're using a screen, a pen display tablet like I have on the left over there, the XP Pen 22E Pro, you definitely, in my opinion, want a larger tablet. It just makes it so much easier to draw. Okay, so the Soren image is all done. For my first time drawing on this tablet, a non-screen tablet for the first time in three years, it's pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and try to draw the Vegeta now. So as normal, I start my sketch in Clip Studio Paint. I start with it pretty zoomed out and I just use kind of like rough shapes to try and get the proportions right um, in terms of my sketch. I'm not going for straight detail in the very beginning. Using this tablet, in order to get that incredibly polished look in the end, I ended up just using a lot of the vector lines, like the line tool, and then bending it to, to how I wanted it in order to get the most accurate lines possible. And you can even just do that with a mouse. Like, you don't really need a tablet for that. But you can't sketch with your mouse. You can't paint very well with your mouse. Now, I personally go back and forth between my monitor tablet and my mouse all the time, like I, I switch back and forth about 50-50. So when I'm working on Anime War, I'll sketch and I'll draw, but then when I need to do things like uh, some quick coloring, uh, some corrections and things like that, I, I just move my program over to my main monitor and I just start using my mouse. And I go back and forth a lot. I don't see a lot of artists doing that, but you're never gonna be able to beat the speed of your mouse and keyboard when it comes to doing, doing corrections, especially with vector work in, a, in Adobe Animate. As I get more accustomed to this tablet, I find myself using the track wheel a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. It is so convenient. That wheel for zooming in and out um, pretty much means that you don't have to continually click the magnifying glass to zoom in and out, which takes up a lot of time. Um, it definitely speeds up the process using that two-handed approach. I started falling in love with this and really wish that my pen display tablet had a wheel like that because as you're doing your art, you're gonna be zooming in and out quite a bit. So just simply having that wheel, I mean, Wow, really speeds things up big time. Now this image I had a little bit of trouble with because it just it's kind of an awkward positioning for a character, right? Like he's on the ground on his back and then he's rolling over. So his bottom arm is tucking in, his over arm is kind of like hunching his body over. It's it's a little strange of a position um, and not like a typical position that you would draw a character in very often. I'd love to see you guys take an attempt at this, redrawing this image. Go ahead and try and redraw it and then tweet it to me and I'll retweet whoever I think did the best. Again, when I'm doing things like drawing the red lines for color separation, this tablet worked very, very well. Anytime that you can do things loosely and you didn't have to get into the super accuracy and detail, I found that this tablet was great. But I know without a doubt I could have drawn this image better on my pen display tablet, which I'm also much more used to. I mean, I've been using pen display tablets for about three years now. And because of that lack of accuracy when you get in super close, I found myself at the end here just doing tons and tons of corrections just simply with my mouse. Like I just, I wasn't happy with it. Something fell off. The nose wasn't right. The eye wasn't right. The mouth wasn't in the right position. And so again, you know, as I talked about before, when you're doing those, corrections with vector work, the, the nothing beats just your mouse and a keyboard. If you know the hotkeys, you can just move and reposition things so fast, way, way faster than you could ever do with any tablet, monitor or not. So in the end here, I ended up just using my mouse and keyboard for the corrections. But here's the thing, it was so nice just having my mouse and keyboard right in front of me. And in that respect, I didn't really see any need for any, to use any of the hotkeys on the Deco Pro. I mean, you're gonna plug it into the USB in either your laptop or your PC, and it's gonna sit probably right in front of your keyboard so you can look at your monitor. So I didn't really ever need to use the express keys at all. I'd rather just use the hotkeys on the keyboard. I mean, you can set up the express keys for multiple functioning, but I didn't really feel that was too necessary for me. Also, I tried drawing with this with the glove and without the glove and it didn't seem to make any difference. So they give you a glove with this product, but because it's not a glass screen, 
I mean, it's a matte surface. It's really easy to slide your hand on it. It doesn't cause any smudging regardless. So it's nice to have the cool looking glove, but it didn't really serve too much purpose. So here's the final image, guys. Here's the before and after. Wow, that is night and day. I wouldn't give it to the tablet. It's more so that I just took my time this time around. Um, and even so, I definitely feel like I could have done better with my pen display tablet, my big monitor one. But in the fact that I was able to draw these two images with this brand new tablet, my first time using it, should at least show you that this is a tablet for not only beginners, but professionals as well. So overall, I actually really like this tablet a lot. I think for entry level, as well as professionals who may not need a big, bulky uh, graphic pen display tablet, I mean, this thing weighs, I feel like a pound, maybe less. Definitely awesome for traveling. I know when I travel, if I need something to draw on, I'm definitely gonna bring this. But for me personally, if you're a professional artist, I'd still recommend the 22E Pro from XP Pen. This is my favorite tablet that I've, I've used a whole variety of different brands and nothing comes close to this one in terms of drivers, consistency. It's very smooth, it's very crisp and clean and I love it more than anything. And this thing is like four to $500. So I guess it's really a matter of preference. What do you need it for? Do you have a lot of desk space? I found that I didn't need this drawing glove at all. Now, if you have a pen display tablet, you definitely need a glove. They give you one, but it wasn't really that necessary. And then the pen was very nice. Now, the one thing about XP pens, pens, are they're all very light. I love to have a little bit more weight to it, but overall it was a very pleasant experience. The express keys on it were beautiful and awesome, especially the, the wheel design. So convenient and easy for not only scrolling in and out, but you have uh, 10 express keys for things like changing your different brushes, erasing, undoing, saving. Very, very important to have express keys in my opinion. But you know, since you have the tablet pretty much right in front of your keyboard, you could just use the keyboard. I mean, it's just a it's just a couple inches away. But I think the express keys would be really key and super important if you're using this device with your phone or your tablet. My very first tablet ever, I used a Wacom Intuos, and I will say that this is way better than the Wacom Intuos, in my opinion. Even the design of it, the extra drawing space is really nice. The profile is beautiful. It has LED lights and it's as simple as just plugging into your USB, which is you know something that you can't really beat because things like this tablet, you need a USB, but you also need to plug in an HDMI. It has a power brick. You can't really move it around, but something like this guy right here, just really sleek and clean and professional and easy to use and not that expensive. So I definitely recommend it if you don't wanna fork over the money for a pen display tablet like this guy. Thanks for stopping by Master Media today. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and comment if you haven't already. I'm Master and I'll talk to you soon. Awarida!